for 70 years I've talked with good ideas, but only in the head. Now I know that you talk from the heart, and that if you can talk from the heart, that's, that's all you really need to know. Which means that my relationship with Henny and Ralphie, and very much so with Myra, is, 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 is from the heart. Hello, my name is Judith Feingold. I am the Assistant Director for Awake and Sing and also the Prop Master. Hi, my name is Annie Such and I am the Assistant Studio Manager of the Chandos Hotel Studio, home of the Nuance Theatre. Awake and Sing follows the Berger family as they live in a very, very, very small tenement apartment in the Bronx. Oh, the Berger family is interesting. They are a kind of everman family. There is a great sense of entrapment that I think speaks to many people then, and in fact, many people now. What's very interesting about the Berger family is how everybody deals with their situation, deals with how they are trapped. And I think what's brilliant about the way we've gone about it in this production is you literally see these people stacked on top of each other. Ralphie doesn't even have his own room. He sleeps on a daybed in the kitchen. Our concept for the set of Awakening Sing is to build as accurate as possible a tenement apartment inside of our theater. You will see uh, the outlining structure, where the walls would be, where the windows would be. It's as though you're the neighbors through a very thin wall, so we have the suggestion of beams. The audience will feel the cla claustrophobia that the Berger family experiences every day. It's a lived-in play. It is a two-lived-in apartment. Yes. And completely authentic. Immersive nature is even more pertinent, I think, because this was lived. This isn't imagined. It's a story of human striving. Many people are donating their own sort of family heirlooms to us, and it, I think that enriches the experience vastly. Absolutely. But if you take a single word away from the play, then you'll know what we mean when we say it has to be lived. That's why theater is still alive today. It must be lived. Awake and Sing is coming right on the heels of two very successful nuanced theater shows. The first one being Raptor Medusa, which sold out. Uh, the second being Waiting for Lefty, another Odette's play, which also sold out completely. Because the nuanced theater does create these, in these worlds. Awake and Sing by Clifford Odets, directed by John DeSotel and presented by the Nuance Theatre at the John DeSotel Studio, will premiere November 6, 2014.